In the late 19th century, archaeologists discovered a well-preserved artefact in the Temple of Horus at Nekan, dating back to around 3100 BCE. Now referred to as the Nama Palette, this 63 centimeter long siltstone slab has some of the earliest hieroglyphics ever found carved into it. Created during the First Dynasty, it depicts in low relief the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt under King Nama. One side of the palette shows King Nama under the protection of cow goddesses wearing the tall conical crown of Upper Egypt. The other side shows him wearing the flat square crown of Lower Egypt with a curly protrusion on its front. The slab is called a palette because there's a circular depression in it for mixing cosmetic pigments. Such palettes probably had a practical use in proto-dynastic times for applying face paints. However, by the time of the First Dynasty, it's thought such palettes mainly served a ceremonial function.